What the F Happened to Benefolk, striking actors direct their rage at Hollywood with a few notable exceptions, Alisters and megastars are nowhere to be found on the first day of rallies against poor wages and the danger of AI. The midday sun was scorching, but it paled in contrast to the rage of hundreds of pickets outside Netflix's headquarters on Sunset Boulevard. On the first day of the largest strike in Hollywood history, thousands of demonstrators showed up, but there was only one question on everyone's mind. Where are all the Alisters? Where in the F is Benefolk? Read one sign. Your poor Montana ranch, said another. I'm trying to pay my rent, not my mortgage. The industry's biggest earners, including George Clooney, Merle Streep, Jennifer Lawrence, Margaret Robbie and Matt Damon, have issued statements supporting the 160,000 members of the actors' union SAG-AFTRA, who have brought Tinseltown to a halt. But the stars were nowhere to be seen as I spoke to protesters in the 32 degrees Celsius heat. The strikers fear artificial intelligence will take their jobs and are irate over the refusal of streaming services to pay residuals, payments traditionally made by studios each time a show or movie airs. Many were disappointed at the lack of celebrity boots on the ground. A jobbing actor, who requested anonymity because he feared getting blacklisted, was critical of what he described as woke stars who talk the talk but don't walk the walk. He said, people like Clooney and others pay lip service to the strike. But when it comes to walking the pavement outside a studio, where are they? They are sitting in their air-conditioned mansions. When I asked one woman why she had singled out a folk on her sign, she shrugged and said, he should be here. They all should. Clooney released a statement saying, this is an inflection point in our industry. Actors and writers in large numbers have lost their ability to make a living. Oscar winner Jessica Chastain took to Twitter, writing, We are not afraid of a fight and we will not back down. Others have been more proactive. On a picket line in New York, Oscar winner Susan Sarandon said, AI will affect everybody. There's always been the feeling that if it isn't solved now, how do we ever solve it? If you don't have the foresight to put something in place for the future, you're screwed. It's clear that nothing is going to change from the top down, it's going to be up to us at the bottom. On Thursday, stars including Emily Blunt, Cillian Murphy and Matt Damon walked off the red carpet at the London premiere of their movie Oppenheimer after news of the strike action broke, but the Alisters were exceptions. Leonardo DiCaprio was spotted on a yacht off St. Tropez in the south of France on Friday, and the Duchess of Sussex, once one of SAG AFTRAS most famous members as an actress in the TV series Suits, was spotted shopping at a farmer's market near her home in Montecito, California. While it is unclear whether Meghan maintained her union membership after becoming a royal, one actor told me, it sure would give people a huge boost if she would show up. This is a fight for our survival in the eyes of the world are on us. He added, it's a shame that actors who have made millions from this business are not using their fame in a positive way. Jennifer Aniston lives less than five miles away from Netflix's HQ and Brad Pitt has a place close by. Where are they? Union leader Fran Drescher, best known for her role in the 90s sitcom The Nanny, was unperturbed by the lack of celebrity support as she toured the studios rallying her troops. Outside Netflix, she was greeted by rousing cheers. As I joined the throng of TV crews surrounding her, she told me, the fight is starting here in Hollywood but this is a bigger fight than just Hollywood. It's happening across all fields of labor where employers put profits before people. If we don't stop this, we're all going to lose our jobs to machines. The actors have joined 11,000 Writers Guild of America members who have been on strike since May. The strike is likely to cost billions of dollars in missed revenue and might last until the end of the year. The rich stars will be okay, but those of us at the bottom of the heap, which is the majority of us, will struggle, said another young woman. I'd want to see guys like Clooney put his money where their mouth is and establish a relief fund to assist those of us in his business who are unable to pay our rent.